All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of Fuel Tanks Plus by forum user Necrobones. And ah, uh, you gotta love good old Necrobones. On this series, we have looked at a couple of his mods in the past, and I have always enjoyed them. And so I'm hoping that this one today will be just as good. And it is, of course, a parts mod. Uh, as you can probably guess from, you know, being called Fuel Tanks Plus, it adds in new fuel tanks. So let's jump right on into the VAB and have a look at what we have on offer here. Grab a random control pod here, or, well, robotic one at least, and head into fuel tanks. And now this, as I said, parts mod adds in fuel tanks. And uh, sometimes I like looking at parts mods, sometimes I don't. It all depends. But why I wanted to look at this one today and why I really like it is because of the three reasons you may want all of these new fuel tanks into your game. Uh, the first is, of course, aesthetics. You have, like, all these wonderful new textures. We'll go over them all individually here in a moment. Uh, but uh, just new textures that help you customize your ship more, make it look however you like, and that is just wonderful. Uh, the second reason why I like this mod is the size of them. All of these tanks are about 1.5 times larger than their stock counterparts. So say for this 1.25 meter one, it would take the FL2, or T800 rather, as well as the FLT400 combined together to basically give you the same functionality as this one tank. So it reduces your part count, which helps with, you know, the RAM usage for the game and texture, all that sort of stuff. And of course, just makes life a little bit easier when building when, you know, one part will serve the function of two. And the last bit that I really love about this mod and why I am really loving the crap out of it, fuel tanks as nose cones. Or rather, nose cones as fuel tanks. But uh, it's one of the things that's always kind of annoyed me about all the nose cones we do have in the game. In aerodynamics, that's all they are. They're an aerodynamic thing. They, um... It just seems like wasted space in my mind to not use it for fuel. And so I love the addition of these nose cones with glorious liquid fuel and oxidizer in them. It is wonderful. So now that I've gone over the three reasons why I love this mod, let's actually take a look more properly at the parts. Now we just kind of grabbed the FTP 1.25 meter redstone 1200 fuel tank. And here it is again. Nice little sort of checkerboard texture up at the top. I really enjoy the look of it. Very, very nice. Then in the same class, we have the 1.25 meter Soyez, which, uh, nice, beautiful green and uh, sort of, well, dirty yellow, brownish yellow-ish thing. Very cool, very nice. Again, your aesthetic choice if you like it. There you go. You can use it for your fuel tanks. And then lastly, my personal favorite of the textures, the Vega. I don't know why I like it. it, it it's the whole thing. I like stuff that looks similar to stock. Plus, my weird little flag kind of blends into it, so uh, <laughs> a little biased there. Oh, but yeah, nice little selection of fuel tanks in three different varieties with, uh, you know, different textures for whatever choice you may want. And all of them have the same amount of liquid fuel and oxidizer being a 540 liquid fuel and 660 liquid ox or just, yes, yeah, liquid oxidizer, rather. And uh, yes... Lovely little choices, a very good little 1.25 meter fuel tanks. So let's move on to the 2.5, where we start with the Antares. And ah, oh, I love this fuel tank. This is my favorite fuel tank in this mod. I don't know why, it just, it speaks to me. It is beautiful, I love it. And a very, very large 2.5 meters, of course. And, uh, you know, very long as well. So again, less part usage. We then have the Atlas 96 fuel tank, which is a very gorgeous deep red. I love the look of this thing. It is beautiful. And again, a lovely aesthetic choice. And then finally in the 2.5 meters, we have the Delta 96, which is an interesting sort of blue pinstripe almost. I like it. 
very cool, very cool indeed. And now all three of these, again, have the uh, same liquid fuel and oxidizer capacity of 4,320 liquid fuel and 5,280 oxidizer. Very nice, very nice indeed. Oh, oh yes, I almost forgot this one. We have another 2.5 meter tank, which is similar in texture to the Jumbo 64, but of course being 1.5 times the size, it is the Jumbo 96. Very much stock alike, very cool. I definitely, definitely enjoy it. And it of course has a corresponding nose cone. Ah, uh, you gotta love it. And again, I love that these nose cones now actually have a use with being liquid fuel and oxidizer in them. And of course with the nose cones, we have a uh, similar matching nose cones for the red. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. Now of course, if your aesthetic choice is different than what these are, you can always mix and match. Uh, but of course, as I said, I love the Antares one. And so, bam, Antares nose cone. That is just a beautiful, beautiful looking rocket. Who wouldn't love that? Uh, but let's carry on to the next size, where we have the 3.75 meter Ariana 21,600. Holy crap, look at the size of this thing. It is monstrous and beautiful. And uh, I do believe this is the matching nose cone for it. Ah, uh, there it is. Look at the size of that beauty. It's gigantic, just so gigantic and beautiful. We then have the Falcon 21,600, which is similar to the Antares with the lovely little indentations up there. I do enjoy that. Uh, it doesn't have a corresponding nose cone that goes with that specific texture, but I guess, you know, the white nose cone would probably fit well enough with it. Very good, very good indeed. And for the last fuel tank that we have on offer, the 3.75 meter Titan 21,600. There we go. Look at that thing. It's uh, pretty much comparable to the Kerbidine ones that we have in the same sort of size. And just, again, massive, massive tank. Beautiful. And of course, with a steel nose cone to match. Isn't it gorgeous? I, I really do love these. And as for the fuel for these 3.75 meter ones, all of them hold 9,720 liquid fuel and 11,880 oxidizer. <laughs> That's a lot of fuel, but beautiful. I do indeed love these. And let's just sort of throw one of these onto the launch pad real quick. And, uh,. Yeah, see how it flies with all of this lovely fuel. So let's go into engines. And, oh, we probably could use one of the larger ones. But nope, 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 nope. Let's go just with the good old Rocco Max. That should work. And, of course, we'll need a stability enhancer. Uh, there we go. And boop. And let's go to launch. Just uh, to you know, take a look at one of these glorious fuel tanks in flight. And as I said, with a crap load of fuel, thanks to not only the 1.5 times in length fuel tank, but also the glorious nose cone that is also fuel of beautiful, delicious fuel. And it's, oh God, I love the look of this thing. That nice red, beautiful color to it is just gorgeous. I wish the light was a little better at this time of day, but it is just a beautiful looking rocket, beautiful fuel. Let's throttle all the way up and Launch! Ah, and just like any rocket, <laughs> it flies up, up, and away. Yeah, there's really nothing about the aerodynamic properties that makes it any different from any other rocket that you may launch up, but with the one exception that it just has a crap load more fuel in a lot fewer parts. Like for two fuel tank parts, I, you couldn't get this look with the nose cone and all of this beautiful fuel in any other way but with these tanks and it's just gorgeous and that's why I, that's I think the biggest reason I love them is the aesthetic choice and the whole point about the nose cones having fuel in them as well 
it's just cool. I like it, I enjoy it, and if you like it as well, you can always go into the link in the description of the video to download this for yourself, which I hope you do, as it is a lovely little addition to the game. And uh, yeah, I hope you do go and check it out, and of course that you have enjoyed this video today, and come back for the next, hopefully. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one, and wow, we've really made it up here. How much fuel do we have left? Wow, we still have over a third fuel, and oh boy, let's actually look at our total altitude there. This baby will be able to get into space very easily. Ah, oh, I love these fuel tanks. Download it, try it, you'll have fun. Later, guys!